Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jonathan with Referee Moto. Thanks so much for tuning back in to the channel. Today, I have a very special treat for you. I am once again on the Triumph T120 Bonneville that I am renting through Riders Share. And this is not a promotional video for Riders Share. I'm paying for this bike uh, with my own money. I just thought uh, I would kind of talk a little bit about my experience um, renting this with Rider Share, and uh, we're actually gonna um, we're gonna uh, ride into the sunset a little bit, and hopefully this video will end with a really nice sunset view over the sound, if my timing is right. This is a 2018 Triumph Bonneville T120. I've never ridden a Triumph before, and uh, so far it's uh, it's been really nice. Uh, pleasantly surprised at this British motorcycle. Although the battery is a little questionable, so I'm really hoping that I charge it up riding it here. Uh, right now we are in at, in front of the Scotch Bonnet in Buxton or Frisco one of the two I believe we're in Frisco North Carolina in the Outer Banks please Lord start
this uh, guy in Kitty Hawk, his name is Michael, and really nice guy. Uh, the only two motorcycles available, and he, he may have more to rent, not that I know of, but the only saw two that I saw available for rent were the Triumph uh, T120 and uh, a Harley, like a 2006 Harley Electric. So, and it was more. I, the Harley was over $100 a day. And to me, this is for $54 a day. Like, I mean, it's not like you're going to go lightning speed around here. It's not like you're cruising for long, long distances. And so I, I figured this would definitely be uh, enough. And I certainly uh, I think it's cool because I've never ridden a, a Triumph before. So I wanted to try something new. You know, life is short. Try new things, try new experiences. And that's what it's all about. As long as they're legal, right? Um, at least for me, I, I gotta, I gotta walk that line. Uh, but so this is the one I picked, and uh, went to pick it up. Uh, you know, actually the guy was great. You know, once I booked the, the trip and everything, and he yes, he agreed to it. So you send him a note. It's almost like Airbnb, like you. Um, kind of send them a note and say, hey, I promise I won't wreck your motorcycle. <laughs> uh, hey, I've got some years of riding experience and I don't like ride like an idiot. Um, here's proof. Here's my YouTube channel, you know, Rev Free Moto. Um, so, you know, that he knows that I'm not going to abuse his motorcycle. And uh, I'm sure this is not his prized possession, as you can see. Uh, if you look real close, there's some rust on it. I think it might sit outside a lot. It's a beach bike, so um, it's going to rust left outside, but, uh, I mean, maybe not, I don't know, uh, maybe he doesn't leave it outside, I, I didn't really ask him, but, overall, it's in pretty good shape, you know, it's not the cleanest, the most perfect motorcycle ever, ever, but it's a, it's a rental bike, so, you know, if this is something he does for a side income, then that's cool, you know, um, uh, but he, he was gracious enough to, uh, allow me to, to book the, the, uh, the trip, as they call it. So again, it's almost like Airbnb or Burbo, and um, I even changed the the details on him. Um, whereas originally I was going to pick it up in the morning, and my wife kindly reminded me that that would be kind of difficult for her to, uh, you know, and bring the whole family up earlier in the morning, and so uh, instead. Uh, we changed it to 6 o'clock p.m. pick up and drop off time and uh, that worked better for everyone for my wife and it actually ended up working better for him so I think it works during the day so he was gracious enough to allow that change in the schedule and, um, and pick it up at a later time and then when I uh, when I actually got to his house you know you, you get the address and everything and he was very kind. He showed me around, showed me some of his other bikes. Uh, he had a 1969 uh, Triumph as well in his, his garage that he was working on. And he had a Honda 77 CB750 with an automatic transmission. Like it had two gears. It had low and it had drive. And it had neutral. So kind of a, a weird transmission I've never heard uh, never seen one of those before kind of a rare bike had the chrome fenders and everything pretty cool um, so uh, he was really nice and we kind of talked bikes for a little bit uh, and he gave me a, you know I had to take pictures you know you check in once you get there you check in and make sure you're there on time but apparently uh, it said something about late fees if you weren't on time so check in on the uh, on the website I was looking for the app and I have not been able to find it and I don't know if I'm just bad at finding the app or what but I uh, hadn't been able to find the app so I was just using the website I uh, actually signed in with my Google account so I didn't have to make a new account or anything um, and uh, that was great because uh, you know needs another account and another password 
sticking out of your car. It's getting, it's kind of windy uh, all the time here, so feeling a lot of crosswinds. Um, but yeah, so you know, after I we talked for a little bit and I uh, checked in on the uh, website, I had to take some pictures of uh, the motorcycle, you know, all the way around. Then I had to take a selfie of myself with a helmet, which was weird. I don't know if that's because I don't know they're supposed to provide you with a helmet or uh, if that's something that you um, are responsible for bringing yourself or what. Um, I brought my own, so uh, in anticipation of the rental, I brought my own. So that kind of worked out. flashing now it's not something wrong with the turn signal I love the sound of the exhaust on this bike hopefully the battery won't die on me it's a uh, I don't think anyone's going to steal it, but uh, I am responsible for this motorcycle. Um, see if I can get a better angle of this sunset. I probably should have parked over there. Be the weird guy walking around with a helmet. So, while we're checking out this sunset, let's talk about the uh, the price. So, it's advertised at $54 a day, and that $54 a day included um, included nothing, obviously. So, uh, well, that was if I rented it for, I think it, it was a 20% um, discount for my first time rental. So... Um, I guess the original price was higher, and then $54 a day was after this 20% discount for first-time rental. And then um, you also uh, the $54 also 
uh, was if you rented it for five days, so minimum. So then you got a 25% um, discount for renting for, for five days. And um, so f with 20% off and then and, and I did rent it for five days, I got the 25% discount. That brought it down to $54 a day. But wait, there's more. So um, after that, then there was a mandatory uh, damage waiver. So it's like insurance. So if you rent a car, you know, you can buy the insurance or whatever. And depending on how much you paid per day for that, uh, it's a different deductible. So uh, y if you get the Primo, it's like, f I think, $25 a day. It's um, you're only vi uh, liable for $500 worth of damage. If you get the mid medium tier or mid tier, it's $20 a day. I could be wrong on this, but I believe it was $20 a day. And then it's $1,000 uh, is all you're responsible for the first thousand dollars of damage um, and then that's it and then if you get the cheapest one I think it's fifteen dollars a day and for fifteen dollars a day you're responsible for the first fifteen hundred in damage so that is required you have to get the damage waiver you can't I don't believe you can uh, just say I don't want it um, and then uh, after that uh, there's also a for five dollars a day you can get a, a breakdown uh, coverage or which I might need with this thing because it is um, <laughs> the battery is a little sketch and I don't have a battery tender but um, but uh, for five dollars a day you get one free tow uh, one free tow per day so that's that's pretty nice and it's only five dollars a day so by the time you add all these different um, you know add-ons uh, it came out to just under a hundred dollars a day to rent the the Triumph, um, so I think my total cost out the door was four hundred and seventy nine dollars and eighty four cents. That's from memory. I'll, I'm going to throw up the pricing details uh, on the screen for you. But um, yeah, it's uh, I mean, f for less than a hundred dollars a day, and I get to take a motorcycle to this, you know, and, and ride around the Outer Banks and like. Uh, future video, I'm going to uh, probably go down into downtown uh, Manio, uh, Roanoke Island. Um, it's just incredible up here, so, um, or down here, rather. Um, the the sound, if you've never been down here, uh, you can see people standing way out. Um, it's shallow for a long, long ways. And so, and there's no, uh, there's no, um, waves or anything you know it's all just calm water uh, and so it's kind of cool because um, you know little kids you got a family with little kids this is a great place to bring them um, the kids can play in the water and there's really not um, anything that's gonna hurt their feet or like there's not a lot of hard shells and um, trash in here um, it's just a really nice place for them to play and it's really shallow so little kids can can kind of go out a little ways and you don't have to worry about them um, getting smashed by a wave if you got little kids you can relate to what I'm saying um, but yeah that's it I mean I just wanted to say that so far the the experience has been great I will say that um, what a beautiful beautiful evening the the sun's a little occluded by the clouds but it's still um, just amazing to look at uh, as I face plant in the sand over here um, I think that uh, it would you know it's good if you have some basic knowledge of motorcycles you know if you've been riding for a little while and you're comfortable around bikes like knowing that uh, this thing's got battery issues um, I know enough not to leave it uh, turn the headlight on and you know do the walk around with the headlight on uh, just because I still am questioning the battery status of this bike. Um, but, uh, you know, just basic functions of motorcycles are pretty universal. You know, you're, you're one down and you're um, uh, two, three, four, and five, and six up for the gear shifting and all that. Even though it's a British bike, it's all pretty much the same. This, the, all your turn signals are here. Uh, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace to see if 
these what kind of prices these things go for and um, you know I found a few for like 2018 2019 with uh, not a lot of miles on them for around the seven eight thousand dollar range so they hold their value I don't know what they go for new but um, I think uh, it's a really nice motorcycle it's it's uh, not you know eight eight thousand bucks is not a huge investment seven thousand eight thousand bucks is not a huge huge investment for a motorcycle uh, don't know that I'm gonna run out and buy one but uh, you know I just think it's a lot of fun and uh, so far I've been having a great time alright guys well that's gonna do it I'm gonna hop back on this thing and ride it back to Avon before it gets too terribly dark because I only have a high beam <laughs> that's another thing with these rental motorcycles you never know what you're gonna get uh, but thanks so much for uh, for watching for, for uh, watching the video about rider share and for enjoying the sunset with me uh, remember you know uh, the most important thing is who you're becoming what that's what matters most who you're becoming is what matters most god bless you all and uh, love you and uh, appreciate you and uh, we'll see you in the next video